Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight in the Psychic Flow. Very excited tonight. The great guest. And before I introduce her, uh, she has a, a special announcement, too, about uh, someplace that she's focused in. We're going to talk about that. So all our super sticker people and our donators to the show will give a short uh, reading from uh, our special guest, because you always get me, and I'll chime in uh, where needed. And I just wanted to let you know, you can contribute to the show if you'd like to through Venmo, Carol Ann Carey, Carol Ann Dash Carey, excuse me. And if you have uh, are making a contribution to our guest, please let me know and I'll make sure that she gets those funds. Also here on YouTube, you can uh, make a donation to the show by Super Sticker if you would like. Again, let me know if you'd like that to go to your our special guest. You can also catch us on Rumble, and our shows are uploaded later onto BitChute. We're on several audio platforms, Spotify, iHeart, uh, all of those, just about all of them, Google Play, so you can catch us on there as well. We're delighted to have you join us this evening, and happy solstice, so for those of you who celebrate. So tonight, we have a great show tonight. We have the wonderful Kelly Jo Psychic with us. I'm going to bring her on right now. And uh, she looks lovely. Hi, Kelly Jo. Hi, everybody. I Thanks was going to ask, ask you what was new. And I think we put up a, um, did we put up a link yet? I, Tiffany was talking about it. Here's my website. Kelly Jo is kellyjopsychic.com. And uh, let's see. You uh, recently posted that you were listed uh, in a book written by uh, an author friend of yours, Genevieve Steele. The book is called Murder by Night, K-N-I-G-H-T, like night in shining armor. Yes. And that's available on Amazon. And in pages seven through nine, there it is. You, uh, Kelly Joe, are listed in there. And what are you doing in this book? I am a tea leaf reader. I'm doing tea leaf readings and doing readings in the book. So, it was so funny. I have a picture of you from your website or from your Facebook of you doing exactly that, reading uh, the teacup. And I was going to use that picture tonight. Oh, and I didn't. It's so funny. I was going to use that picture. I said, oh, maybe you can't see her enough, you know. So it's uh, such an anyway. honor, you know, to have her put me in there, you know. That is wonderful. Good for you. What else are you doing? Well, I'm... Um going to go to Sarasota Fair. Okay. Uh, Mystic Fair. I'm going to be there and I'm going to do some future shows. I haven't set them up yet, but I will. My own too. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I'm doing so far. <laughs> and the Mystic Fair is what, July 23rd? July 23rd and 24th. Okay, great. This is be, uh, I think of COVID was the, would have been my 10th year. And uh, they canceled that one. I haven't done it in the last couple of years. So I know you'll be very busy. And uh, I wish you a lot of luck with that. I know you're going to do very, very well. And that's where I met you. Actually. Oh, yeah. We've that's known cool. each other for quite a few years. Yes. Now. Yes. Uh, let's see who we have. So I thought what we would do is of our, our donators, I would let you read them. And the rest of the people, uh, you know, we'll see how you feel about it. If you want to, you know, well, you're under no, nobody's under any obligation to make a donation. We will get to as many people as we can. And uh, we'll give the, we give the, the uh, super sticker people and the donators a little bit more time. We take them first and uh, we give them a little bit more reading, but you know, I'm going to let you handle them there. I think we have uh, three of them so far. Okay. Uh, four of them, I guess. Whoop, nope, now we got six. Okay. So okay. I thought we would do those first. I thought I would let Kelly Joe do that. Right. And uh, the first one we have is uh, Jill Sheen. I think you're familiar with her. I'm getting expansion. Um, I'm seeing water lilies. Um you know, spirituality, water lilies, tranquility. Um, and is she going on like a retreat? Because there's, I feel a retreat coming on for her. 
for her to go to. Um, she needs the right. And then she's going to receive information and another guide. Another guide will be added to her. So okay. that's what I'm seeing for her. And um, lots more speaking engagements for her. Oh. Paid speaking. Paid speaking. That's what they're telling me. I was just moving my Oops. camera a little bit. We lost good. you. Are you yeah, okay? Yeah, here I'm here. Is that better? Yes, we okay. see you now. Yeah, I was just um, uh, my. No. Nope. There we go. There. Okay. I had it low and then I, I put it up a little bit higher because it didn't look right. So I apologize for that. So um, I and guess. There's I'm... something about not nothing bad's going to happen to her car. There's like an upgraded car. An upgraded car. Yeah. Okay. I hope that makes sense to her. Okay. And then there's a trip west in the end of the year for hmm. her. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jill. Let me just stick a word in here for Jill. Um, now, remember, we've talked about semi-retirement. You know, we've talked about this. So I wouldn't get too excited about work or what they're doing or, you know, any of that stuff. The, the best thing to realize your own anxiety and work on that because that's what's causing you anxiety. That's what's causing you problems. Um, when we're too anxious, we are worrisome. We're a pain in the ass, you know, basically. And we worry about every little thing. That doesn't change the outcome. So take a deep breath when something happens and just kind of roll with it. This is, you're not the, the you're not at the beginning of your career, Jill. You're at the winding down. So whatever happens doesn't really matter. As long as you're getting a paycheck, it doesn't matter because this isn't going to last very long. That's the attitude I had to ad adopt when I was getting ready to uh, retire. And believe me, they throw everything at you. You know, for some reason, everything happens and you're just trying to eke out the door, you know. So you just have to take a breath and realize I'm not going to be here forever. So, and my time is limited. It's going to come to an end and I just got to put up with this for now. And that's just how it is. Right. And Kelly Joe's going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, all right. So hang in there, Jill. And just every time it gets a little anxious, take a deep breath. Okay. Thank but you for joining us today. I appreciate you. To do. I'm sorry. She's going to be doing what she loves to do. Okay. Okay. Good. Yep. And you'll have a wonderful uh, retirement doing things that you enjoy. Okay. So let me see. I have to get to Gigi here. Gigi's our next person. Uh, Kelly Joe. I see like starbursts of multicolors. You know, like red, blue, green, yellow, orange, green, purple. And and it's like a celebration. I'm seeing like fireworks, but they aren't fireworks. Um, renew of energy, new beginnings. And there's like, they're showing me exclamation points. So in other words, she's going to be able to express what she needs to express, take the time that she needs to be quiet when she needs to, but there's like a new burst of energy, a new beginning, a new cycle. The number 28 is coming to me. I don't know why. And the month of last week in August, and the two weeks in September are very important this year for her. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay, so, and you were talking about what, September? August and September, Kelly Joe? Yes. Her? I think that sounds about right because she's scheduled for some surgery. I hope she doesn't mind me saying that. I don't think so. She shared it on here. And so I have a feeling that that's when she's going to start feeling herself again. 
You know what I mean? Uh, start to feel like a human and like I can do this. Um, so I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, I also do get, um, I want to say, oh, okay. I will. Thank you, Jill. I will give this to Kelly Joe. I'll put that on Kelly Joe's tab. Uh, Robin has also made a contribution for Kelly Joe. Thank you very much through Venmo. So I'm going to put Robin on here as well. Um, so there we go. So we got tips coming in, Kelly Joe. Thank you. But they're also saying that she'll heal fast. That I'm what? She will heal fast. Oh, good, good. Uh, that's what I kind of thought too. And I and I kind of also feel um, uh, I'm getting a postponement on a trip or something, something postponing, but it'll be, you're being better off. So maybe it's because there's a lot of walking involved or horseback riding or something on a trip and, you know, something too physical. Maybe you should put that off to the end of the year uh, until you're completely healed. But otherwise, I think you're going to be uh, very uh, fluid. I want to say the word is fluid. Try to be fluid in your body, making the rest of your body either by yoga or swimming or something flexible and elongating. Uh, because you've been, she's been injured for, I don't know, six months at least wow. before the surgery. So, um, you know, all those muscles kind of get kind of tight there, Gigi. Uh, but in, as far as your entrepreneurial thing, I feel like I, I have a design, uh, a logo design. And I feel like by January, February, 2023, we are uh, ready to rock and roll. So you're making a lot of preparation for that. So thank you so much for joining us, Gigi. I really appreciate you. And thank you for your donations to the show and to Kelly Joe. Thank you very much. Okay, our next person is Kavita. I hear a lot of laughter. I hear joy. Um Every, she's going to go through some major changes, but it's for the better. So don't get spazzed when that happens. It's like everything's flipped upside down, but she'll have a better perspective after she comes through it. Um, she's done, she's doing the soul work that she needs to do. And it's like a butterfly. So I'm seeing like transformation. Hmm. That's what they're telling me. Okay. Uh, I just want to, uh, Jill uh, wrote a little note here. Thanks, Kelly Joe. Going on vacation in August. And wow, Kelly it, Joe is awesome. Looking forward to everything. Thank you, Carol Ann. Okay. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that. And the next, let me see, we're doing um, Kavita. Kavita. Okay, so I have more artwork. I'm seeing more artwork, Kavita. Um, and uh, uh, concentration more on the artwork than the book project, I think, as we had discussed. But there's a lot of travel, and I do feel a lot of, I feel um, sand. So I feel like you're going to be in the Long Island uh, area, uh, beach combing or uh, walk in the beach, and I do feel some outings there. I feel casual, very chic, casual dress, uh, restaurants, something about lobster, the lobster war for the lobster pot or something there. Um, and also uh, looking forward to once the book is finished, your project is finished, there will be uh, a few book signings established okay for you so you're going to work that out and i think it's restaurant uh at restaurants so people can have you know like a, a hold a cocktail party there and a book signing something like that and i think that's going to be kind of wonderful i think it's going to be remarkable for you and also i'm also getting the art sale i'm getting uh someone talking to me here about the art sale that you were talking about, instead of having a garage sale, of having an art sale. And I think that's going to go actually remarkably well. Um, so maybe you'll be commissioned to do some work or 
to do a, a, a project for someone. So I think it'll turn out very well. I do get the month of September. So I don't know what's going on with that. I think August, September, late summer is very Long Island feeling, very beachy, ocean water. I can smell it, nice breeze. The attention of a few lively men also seems to, I want to say that for some reason. Go ahead, Kelly Joe. There's somebody standing here that smells like mothballs. Oh. Was that? And is that for Kavita? Yes, who's the mothball person? Oh Ooh. my goodness. Somebody who didn't wear that that jacket all the time or that shirt. Yeah, it's like there's mothballs. Okay. Um, Gigi is saying, uh, thank you both. I love it. I've been going through recovery for the car accident since September. And my body has definitely been still for a long time uh, excited for the future. And a lot of delays, a lot of patience. Kavita wow. is saying, uh, thank you, Kelly, Joe, and Carol Ann. I think the lobster will be in. Oh, Nova Scotia. I forgot about that. I'm planning an art show in September. And the mothball, she's not sure yet. Is that a male, Kelly Joe? Yes. And he just, the, he needs to stop. I don't like mothball. <laughs> so he's, is he giving you that, uh, that mothball feeling is overwhelming, huh? Yes. I can smell it. It's like, wow. Weird. I wonder who that was. Um, I know she has an uncle over there. It could be a grandfather. And I'm wondering um, if he's dressed up for the occasion to be here and he didn't usually wear that or something. That's, I don't you know. know. But there's definitely, it's gone now, thank goodness. But whoo. Okay. Overwhelmed with mothballs. I guess you'll have to think about that one, Kavita. Thank you, Kelly Joe. That was great. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Next, uh, we have Leonelli. Okay, let me make sure I have that correctly. Do I have that right? Leon, to me, it seems like Leonelli, if I'm doing that, if I pronounce that wrong, please correct me. This is a female, it looks like. Super sticker. Thank you very much. It's uh, Leon Ellie to me. Okay. Travel, 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 travel. Go do search, search. Park yourself. Listen. You know, it's okay to be still. It's okay to rest. Um, but there is a lot of travel. Um, always needs to have water around her. Don't ever landlock yourself. You can't live in the mm -hmm. desert. Um, I don't know if she sketches or, or writes. I'm getting that. Um, it would be good for her to just sketch if she does, if she can, and, and journal. And I see like a simplification coming up, you know, just streamlining, simplifying. That's what I'm getting. Okay. There might be, uh, I don't think I've had any interaction with you, uh, Leonelli. So, and again, if I'm, you know, making a mess of your name, I apologize. It's lovely. I just don't think I'm saying it right. Um, is there a move involved here? Do I feel like a move to something more compact, to more um, efficient, to more private? Uh, I don't know if this is an office or a studio or what it is, but uh, I just want to say that I don't know if the change that Kelly Joe is mentioning would be with a move. I also have someone here. I have a male figure in spirit. It could be a grandfather. Uh, I've, I'm getting kind of dad here, I feel. So it's either dad or dad's side. And he's talking about this lovely car and he's polishing his car and it looks like a Buick or a Chrysler. I'm getting the Chrysler motif in the back. It's a white top with a black body sedan and it's very sharp looking. I feel like he was very proud of this car. So I hope you would understand someone that had a car like that. And I also get the words military here. So I don't know if we have somebody that was in the military on the other side, if it's the same person or an additional person. And I want to say something about grandma. So I just want to let you know, these people are in your, in the waiting room here of your, in your, in your spirit circle. And they've come into the waiting room and they want to say, and cheers, I kind of get cheers for you. 
And so I feel as if there maybe there is a, a career congratulations or there is going to be. So um, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that you can take that message. Let's see if I get any feedback from uh, her. It might be too early. Let's see if I see anything. Oh, she said, good. Feel that as well, Kelly Joe. So she's uh, agreeing with you, Kelly Joe. Oh, that's Linnell. I kind of thought that might be Linnell. She's oh, going okay. under a different name today. She's traveling incognito. I thought that oh, might be her. Okay. Good. She goes, I feel that as well, Kelly Joe. Good. And I was wondering about that group today. I can take that. Thanks. Group. Okay. All right. So she can take that. Um, very good. All right. And I'm tasting red wine like a salute. Good. For her. Uh, like Goldilocks. Uh, oh, Tiffany God. said she could smell the mothballs too. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh, so it's Linnell. Oh, okay. Uh, I was wondering about that group. I can take that. Thanks, darling. Okay, great. So she's happy with that. I don't know what the move is again. You just moved, I felt. But uh, I feel like uh, it's compact. It's more private. Uh, that is for sure. And who these people are, I hope that you can identify them. And, oh, dad's grandmother. Act uh, Army. I think it says Army. Yes. And the convertible. Okay. She could do Dad, grandmother, and Army. Yes. And the convertible. Okay. Good. Office space. She, so she must be getting new office space. Okay, oh. good. I'm glad we could help you with that. Uh, our next special person, uh, you're all special to me, but our super sticker people, we are reading tonight, Tamara Roth. Tamara Roth. Tamara? Well, Tamara I, Roth. Tamara, okay. okay. Um Boy, this person is definitely moving. <clears throat> There's a move for her. Feels like within a year. And they want her to eat more greens. Anything green. Green, green, green. Lots of healing going on for her. Okay. But they're saying pay attention in work. Pay attention to the details. And she, um, she's a type of person that helps connect other souls to other souls. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's what they're. <laughs> and then there's a grandma over here on her mom's side that's with her. And she's like doing red roses. Happy anniversary. And oh, then nice. there's a, a tall, thin gentleman who's passed on whenever i see overalls that's a farmer to me so that's on her dad's side and then there's this big large black dog and curly 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 like wire hair terrier black dog and he's running around all over so that's what i see for her and she says yeah. you're, you're on the right path Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if she's got any feedback here. Uh, okay. Um, Tamara, why do I have, I also have move, moving van, move something about that, somebody moving. And I get Thanksgiving. I don't know why I'm getting that. Uh, I don't know if the two are connected. But something about Thanksgiving. And I want to say... Um, it's something about uh, gifts. Something about using your gifts or giving gifts. And it's very art... You know, it's very different. 
I'm seeing a deck of uh, sort of a, a, an affirmation deck of cards or a tarot deck of cards. And they have different uh, different pictures on them. So I don't know if you're helping design that or working on that. Um, and I also have a lady here. And this is kind of funny. So I don't know if this is a guide for you or a lady in spirit. She's holding, She's putting on silk stockings on one leg. She's putting on, she's rolling up a silk stocking. And all I see is the leg as she, and, her, and her foot as she daintily rolls up this silk stocking. And it's the kind with the line in the back, you know, at the seam in the back. So this is going back now. So uh, I wonder if you would know who that is. And I also see you as a small, a young girl with braids on, you know, braids hanging down. So I don't know if you wore your hair that it looks kind of lightish there. Um, but so they just want to drop in and say hello. I also have ducks here. So I don't know if you went to feed the ducks, if somebody had a farm, you know what the ducks mean, but I hope it's significant to you. And uh, I want you to hang on until February, something January, February, I feel much better in your situation. I, I feel like you are more comfortable with yourself. I don't know if you're slimmer and things are fitting you better or you're just getting used to being in your own skin. But if I am you, January, February, I am feeling much better. And I want to talk about the color red. So I don't know if you're looking at something red, if you need to wear red, but red for some reason is uh, is popping up here. And I just want to say that to you, that red and the other color would be fuchsia. So they're very vibrant colors, Tim, Tamara. Um, I hope that you can take those messages. Let us know. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, where are we? Okay. Our next person is a Robin. Cosmic Soul Food on, what night is she on? Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. She's a show host. Wonderful uh, gal. What do you have for her, Kelly Joe? I see her doing three different businesses. So there's like three balls in the air. So that's businesses. She's going to be busy, busy. Has she hired a helper yet? She needs going to need a helper, an assistant. And, um, you know, pace yourself because you're taking on so much because she's busier than one arm paper hanger. So, <laughs> yeah, she is. She's a busy girl. She has a lot of talents. So that's what they're telling me about her. But um, she also has an aunt that was on her mom's side, like 1950s, and she wore her hair up in a beehive so, and cat glasses. So I'm seeing that. And she's that lady helps her a lot with ideas and stuff. And then Christmas is going to be really important for her this year. December, the month of December is going to be very important. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Tamara said red is her favorite color. And she also lost her dog, Bailey. Oh, okay. So, That's why the dog was running around. So thank you for, for bringing that up. Her dog passed away or dog Bailey passed away. Oh, okay. So let's see where we're at. Now we can go back up. I think we got the super sticker people. Uh, just doubling to thank you, Gigi. Oh, uh, Robin says I have a cleaning business. I also do hair and her spiritual business. Well, there you so, go. There's her three businesses. Yeah. She's got a lot going on. Um, Okay, Tam Tamian. Okay, let me get back up to the top. And we got our super sticker people. Let's get to our crowd here. Everybody is so excited to have Kelly Joe on. Um, I forgot to mention Kelly Joe is very well known in the paranormal field, has a very big background in that. You can contact her for anything you pet loss, pet readings, pet communication. Uh, healing, she's a medium, your departed loved ones, uh, psychic work, house cleansings, spiritual house cleansings, all kinds of things like that. So please go to her website, kellyjopsychic.com. 
Uh, Kelly Joe is one of the most talented individuals I think I have ever met. She oh. is a natural psychic medium. She uh, was encouraged in her family. Uh, her, her both parents seem to have been very gifted. And uh, Kelly Joe is uh, gifted as well and encouraged to use those abilities. So uh, whatever you need, my go-to person is Kelly Joe Psychic. That's that whatever you need, she can handle it. So thank you so much, Kelly Joe, for always taking time to uh, take care of the people that I send you. Oh, thank you so and, much. And I appreciate that. Now, let me get to, um, let's see where we are here. Ruth Saltman, show host on Wednesday evenings, Transformational Soul, 8 p.m. Nice to have you with us, Ruth. What is she compiling? I see her compiling things. And she's going to get it done. It's not happening as soon as she'd like, but be patient. Two, four, and six. These are the numbers that I'm getting for her. I don't know why. Okay. And she's going to be asked <coughs> to speak. Somebody <coughs> here that's passed on with love. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Hold on. I hope it's not the most woman. vivid things happen to me tonight. Quit jumping me, you guys. <laughs> it, it's a grandfather. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, he he says that she's on the right path. And she says, he says, he, he's going better, better with the finances. You know, better, better. No. Oh. That's what I hear. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Ruth. Appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Richard Riddle. Now, is he writing a book? Because there's like a book around him. Oh, cool. Um, and then there's like, what does England have to do with him? Like, there's something, a connection with England. And then there's also um, like Maine and Maryland. You know, in the United States. Up there. Okay. Um, cool. Also, a business opportunity going to be presented by a friend that you can trust totally, an old friend's going to present him with a business opportunity. It has all kinds of opportunities. Hmm. And then I'm seeing he's going to visit California for some reason because I'm seeing the Pacific Coast. With the rocks and the crashing waves and all that. That's what I see for him. I know that's strange, but that's what I see. <laughs> I have a few uh, comments here. It's kind of funny. Uh, Tamara Roth wrote, she said, I have three dogs in spirit and two of them had an incident with ducks. <laughs> I that's how you're getting that ducks. <laughs> and it's not good for the ducks. Uh, one dog was black. And the leg with the stocking was probably my dear friend who is an exotic dancer who passed. Okay. 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 I'll take that. That is so cute. Thank you so much. Um, ugh. Uh, Richard Riddle, Tammy and Wood is saying, I'm a book designer if ever you need one. Just saying to Richard Riddle. <laughs> <laughs> Davina, take note. Gigi, take note. I'm going to take note. I didn't know that, Tamian. We'll have to get to you here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we got... Um, lost my place. Ram Linnell. Who'd I miss? Tamian Wood. Let's do that one while that's on my brain. Tamian. T-A-M-I-A-N. Okay, Tamian. First thing that I get with her is surprise. So she's going to have a big surprise, a good surprise. Um, tick, 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 tick. Somebody's over here that's passed on. Time, 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 time. They're, they want her to hurry up and get doing it, you know. Um, 
time's passing, time's passing. Um, they want her to get on something, you know, quit procrastinating. Um, and she works with elementals. So that's who she needs. She needs to plant plants, work with the earth, work with the elementals that will help her and help ground her. That's what I see. Hmm. You know, I have a, uh, I just have to interject. I have a old fashioned typewriter here, like an old Royal or something, you know, that you. Yeah. And I don't know who that's for. I don't know if that's for Tamian, Tamian. I don't know who that's for, but uh, since she's a, a book designer, she must, maybe she has an author spirit guide or something, but uh, just want to throw that in there. Somebody's going to be writing a book, I think. I agree. Oh, uh, Tamian says, I'd love to hear if you have anything from the folks from the other side. Okay. I think we did that. She wants us to talk to her dead people. I guess so. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if you got anybody. There's a, a guy that was tall, dark, um, almost black hair with a, a wispy piece of hair that comes down. And I feel like he's in World War II because I'm seeing a bomber jacket. He's what I call a fly boy. So he's mm. here. And lots of military people on her dad's side. And then oh, okay. also there's um, a lady that looks Yugoslavian and she has, you know how they used to do the braids? The and and the yeah mm -hmm. yeah and that's on her mom's side okay and that was like a great great grandma and then they had a in the 1800s they had a concert pianist and they were in europe somewhere and she had like she was tall thin elegant with you know like the hair up and she, long fingers so that's her dead people. And then okay. she has the dead Morris the cat. Looks just like Morris the kitty. There okay. You Thank you for doing that. Tamian says it's like Tammy, but weirder. Okay, so we got you. Thank you so much for clarifying your name for me. And uh, also I wanted to say, let's see, we have uh, a from Sharon on Rumble. Let me get to Kim Smith first. I don't want to miss her because um, she's been waiting a while. Oh. How about Kim Smith? Okay. She has a, a short, stocky, barrel-chested gentleman that used to do masonry that's passed on on her mom's side. And then the, she also has like seven sons. Somebody had... A grandma had seven sons. Wow. Over here, and they were all hard workers and they worked like in steel or something. You know, I see seven sons. And then, now what was her name? I'm sorry, I got it all. Uh, that, there's her dead people. And then for oh, her. Oh, Tammy. Tammy. Then um, she's going to change her career and add to her career. Then I'm off to the east. She's gonna move more to the east of where she is in a year and a half. And she- Oh, was this, this is Kim, I'm sorry. That was Kim, right? I'm confused. Yeah, me too, I confused you. Was that Kim? I think so. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was Kim. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got Kim. All right. Okay. If I missed anybody, jump up and down on here, okay? Um, let's see who else we had. We also have Elizabeth. She goes, cue my cat. Question. Was my cat taken by a gator, coyote, human, or what do you think? It's been six months. The gator. Oh, no, really? 
Yep. Oh, I'm right. sorry, Elizabeth. Oh, that was quick. He didn't suffer. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, that's I'm terrible. Sorry. Hmm. Let's see who else is asking. Oh, uh, Robin said yes. That was her aunt. Was it, I think you mentioned a beehive. Yeah, yeah. But that was her aunt. Uh, let's see what else. We did Richard Riddle. We did Linnell. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a couple of more um people to jump on. Now let's see. Exa oh, uh, Elizabeth said that's exactly what I wanted to hear. She just wanted the truth, I think. Oh. Uh, also, we have Sharon on Rumble. Any messages from my son, husband, or mom? Well, mom's been around lately. You know, she's been in the kitchen. She likes your new device. Um, your husband's been around you. He's He's been in the closet i don't know why there's a shirt or something over there that he he likes he knows you have that um and then your son he's busy right now i don't see him right now but your loved ones are all around you and they're they're like you're on the on the correct and proper path there you go um. It was Sharon. Did you, did she say she had a son? Yeah. He yeah. She did. Oh, Kim. I didn't do Kim Smith yet. Okay. I goofed. Sorry. Thank okay. you for sticking that in there. I might, I don't know where I messed up. I'm so sorry. Uh, and Elizabeth says, I needed the truth about the cat and I knew it. She said, thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Um, All right. So. No, Kelly Joe read for Kim already. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, Sarah is on here. Sarah is a uh, golden healing uh, light show. Oh, golden healing hour on Mondays, 8 p.m. Uh, show host, Super Space Cookie. She said she would love a message if there's time. Okay. You're on the right pathway. Your aunt that your mom, let's see, an aunt on your mom's side is with you, and she had their Karen bangs, and then you're going to be busier with the show. Um, you're going to change the format of it. Um, and what you're going into a new chapter of your life because they keep showing me that flipping a page flipping a page you get to write it and you're so greatly loved is she married now yes okay so there's a resurgence of love okay whenever i hear marlena degrip falling in love again do 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 19 in the war song that means falling in love again so there you go uh that's her. She said that's her aunt. Um, that's nice. Thank you for doing that. Um, I just want to, I, I got distracted for a second. It's like squirrel, right? Um, Sharon's son, I just wanted to tell Sharon, yes, your son uh, comes here and I'm talking about, um, he's showing me like shoes, work boots or some kind of boots that he laced up. I feel like shoes that he laced up and he would leave them laying around. So uh, uh, like he would take them off and leave them. He's just saying that. And he says he has new, um, something about arrows. So I don't know if he's kidding around with the angels, with a Cupid or, but something about arrows. So I feel like he's either saying I'm straight as an arrow or something as an arrow. But uh, he's doing quite magnificent over there. And I also want to say grandpa. So he may be with grandpa. So Sharon, I hope that makes sense to you. I, I'm sorry to interrupt Kelly Joe and, and throw her off there, but I had to say that. Okay. So we got 
Sharon. Oh, wait a minute. Did we do super space cookie? Yes. Okay. Sharon on Rumble asks, does my mom know that we know about our brother? I don't know what that means. I don't know either. But I have time, I'll get back to it. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. All right. Um, <laughs> go ahead, uh, Kelly Jo. Gigi, she wants to know if her uncle... Yeah. yeah. I always call him Fonzie. Oh, okay. If he's around. Yeah. He likes to hang out in your hallway by the bathroom. I don't know why. Hmm. He comes in and out. He's not there all the time. And somebody else was asking something and I missed it. Hello. Oh. Got a lot of people on here. I lost my screen. Uh, Robin says, wonderful messages. Thank you. And we did the Kim Smith, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, just making sure. That's what I see so far. And Gigi says, oh, thank you about her uncle. Uh, Sarah says, thank you, bunches. Welcome. And um, let's see. I just want to just make sure we didn't miss anybody. And oh, uh, Tamian Wood, who goes by Tammy, I guess. But she said, can I ask another question? What can you tell me about my career? I, I think that she's going to change her career. What does she do now? She's a book designer, I think. Okay. Well, you're going to do that, but you can change how you do it. Um, now does she have a brick and mortar place? Cause I see eventually she'll have a brick and mortar place. Uh, like a storefront or something. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Something about art and layout. So she may, yeah. you know, she may have her own publishing company or something. Yeah, right? I think she might. And okay. she'll have a, the, I see um, beautiful script, like calligraphy in the, the name of her business and on her business card. It's okay. It's really beautiful. <clears throat> and it's Elizabeth. like a very tasteful sign. It almost looks French. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth says, I just want to thank you both for letting me know the truth of what happened to my cat, Zoe. I knew it was the gator since he was there the next day looking for more. Oh my God. Ugh. Terrible. Uh, Kim says she will listen later. It was breaking up. Have a great night. Uh, Gigi says, you're both amazing ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Um, validation from Sharon. Well, her son is a straight arrow. Makes sense. He is with her husband. Uh, my mom gave away a baby many years ago. We just found out after she passed. Sharon Brown, makes sense. My mom gave away a baby. Boy, she kept that a long time. Wow, yeah. Like 60, 60 something years. Wow. I think. Uh, yep. And she wanted, and I'll be honest, the impression that I'm getting, it was better for, she wanted a better life for that baby. Yeah. So um, I wouldn't go, I would, I would not go digging around. I would leave it alone, she says. She left it alone for all this time. Um, she wanted that baby to have a better chance than she could give it. So sometimes secrets are meant to stay secret is what yeah. I'm getting. Of course, you can do what yeah. you want. Yep. Uh, let's see. We're at 851. Talk to me about uh, your show on Block Talk, Kelly Joe. Yeah, I have a show on there. It's a bit, um, 
<laughs> Miss getting tea mystic. And uh, I have, I do pop readings and I have other readers on there with me. And it's just so much fun. And I really, really enjoy it. I, I like helping people. So I'll mm. get that set up again. I have you coming on. I, I had you on, right? Yeah. Yeah, July. July. The 23rd, I have you on. Great. Looking forward to it. Is it July 23rd? I think so. It's a Monday. 18. Oh, the 18th. Okay, I got it all goofed up. Yeah, because the 23rd, you're doing the, sh the fair. Okay, sorry. July 18th, Carol Ann. Yeah. Sorry, I'm out there. Done too many readings. <laughs> That's okay. Apologize. Um, I'm like that, too. I was reading the wrong week in my calendar. Uh, blog Talk, B-L-O-G. And it's Mystic and Tea Biscuit, right? Biscuit and Tea Mystic. Oh, Biscuit and Tea Mystic. I said it backwards. Kelly Joe Psychic. Uh, what else was I going to write? Uh, Tammy said she was adopted too and wondered about her biological grandmother. Uh, thought about that. Um, also, uh, Jill says, great show. You two make a great team. And Tiffany, uh, Gigi is donating for Tiffany. Could you give Tiffany, uh, our producer, a quick message? We have a few minutes left. If you could do that, Kelly Jo. She hears me all the time. So. All right, there's um, expansion. Boy, she keeps busy. Um, she needs to put on the calendar of vacation. She needs a vacation. <laughs> well, she does. Yes, she does. She's yeah. juggling a lot of balls. And um, she needs to just put it on the calendar and do it because she's so busy and she's so good at what she does. Mm -hmm. And I see her. She's going to get some kind of an award. Somebody's going to award her something. Uh, oh, she just, Tiffany just posted Blog Talk Radio. Here's the link for Biscuits and Tea Mystic. Thank you. And are you on twice a month? Yeah, I try to do it twice a month. Okay. Sometimes I'll do it more. Depends. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What else is going on? How is your show? Uh, you've been a guest quite a few times in the UK. How's that going? Um, He's not doing it anymore. Oh, how come? I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. But it was a neat ride while I did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope I, you get another one. I hope that you do I another loved, show. I love doing that. That was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. They need to see the, the talent that we have on this side of the pond. You know, because the spiritualism is very big over there. And, oh, it is. Uh, you know, uh, it's one of the, like, major, you know, it's like the whole... It's a major religious group, you know, service, really, or group. More so than maybe Catholic or Christianity. I mean, it's really, spiritualists are a big group over there in both, uh, in all over the UK. And um, they've been doing it for a long time. Some of the best mediums come out of there. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I like them to, to see what we have going on on this side of the pond, you know. I've known, I've known quite a few from, from there. They used to visit our church, so uh, learned a lot from them. But it's nice to uh, be able to show them up once in a while. How do you feel about that, Kelly Joe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Please give this show a thumbs up and a share. Uh, share it with your friends. Turn uh, someone, uh, one of your neighbors or your girlfriends or something on to the show. We appreciate that. We're on every Thursday evening, 8 p.m. I've had a few misses, and I thank you for hanging with me. It's been great to be back. With my, uh, I had computer issues. Uh, I missed two weeks. And then my screen went. Uh, after I got it repaired, I got my screen went. I sprayed my screen and it ruined it. So that one has to go back. That laptop has to go back to Dell and see if they can repair that. 
but we're hanging in there. So, <laughs> so I had to get an inexpensive laptop. It's working really well. It's yeah, just, it's yeah. so mobile that it looked like it was dark in the shadows here. It still looks a little very hard when you set up in the daylight. Right, Kelly Joe, And then you go, you know, the sun you goes go down. Dark and you're like, what happened? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's so weird. Okay. So let me go but back up to the you. I enjoyed tonight. And thank you everybody for tuning in. And thank you for your contributions. Uh, tips for Kelly Joe. We appreciate that so much. I will make sure that she gets those. Uh, Robin says, thank you for a wonderful show. And uh, let me see. Uh I want, just want to make a double double check on our people. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed our um, – I wanted to do a special show on the summer solstice, but I didn't get to because I was uh, incapacitated with my computer. And I really – The Tamron Wood lady? Yes, we did. That's Tammy. Okay. Yeah, we did. Okay. A couple of times. All right. Just making sure I said – yeah, yeah, we got her. Call, I hope you had a message from me. It must be old. Yeah. Um, also, don't forget to check out. Uh, let's see. Where is that book? Murder. Murder by Night by Genevieve Steele on Amazon.com. There you go. She has some other books on there, too? or No, just the one. Just the one. Her. Okay. So there yeah. you go. Check that out. Page 79. You can take a look. Miss Kelly Joe is in there. It's so nice. It was so um, nice for her to put me in there. Uh, so show and special guest. That was nice. Thank you for all your super stickers and your donations through. Um, oh, she says, uh, Elizabeth said, did you have a message from Tammy's dad that passed away? He Sneak says in. that she has dreamed him and he's letting her know that she's doing a good job and he's putting his thumb up. Very good. Thank you for, thank you for doing that. Kelly Joe, as usual, your messages are wonderful. Um, what is that amazing show from uh, Goldilocks productions? Thank you all of you for your contribution to the show, for joining us tonight. It's wonderful. You're such a good group of people. We're so pleased to be Thank here. You. So pleased to have Kelly Joe on once again, and we will make sure to get her on the program again. What's coming up on your show? Me um, and July. Who else you have? You just had, um, uh, what's his, I forgot his name, the social psychic. Yeah, I had Jason on there last time. We had a lot of fun doing that. Oh, good, good. And I'll probably have him on again. And, um, and like I said, we're having Carol Ann July 18th. Mm -hmm. And so that'll be good. Yes, I love being on radio. <laughs> then I can do it in my pajamas. I love that. That's okay with me. Thank you so much, Kelly Joe, for being with us. I wish you a lot of luck at the fair in Sarasota. Sarasota Mystic Fair, if you're in the area, that'll be July 23rd. I'll be on Blog Talk with Kelly Joe on the 18th. Always a good time. And uh, we look forward to more posts and more exciting things from you, Kelly Joe. Can't wait. And I hope you have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a good night now. Bye bye. Till next bye. time. Become a Goldilocks Productions VIP patron. Receive exclusive access to live stream special and other epic perks. Join the Goldilocks Productions VIP community today.